Oh, you amazing, beautiful people. Uh, welcome back to another reaction video. This is an OST that all of you voted for and have told me is one of the best OSTs in anime that I need to react to. And that is Evangelion. Uh, how do I even begin to pronounce this? Um, Come Sweet Death is the English translation. It's a German song called Com Suze Todd. Or Com Suze, yeah, Com Suze Todd. Is that how I pronounce it? I'm probably not pronouncing it right. Um, I'll call it the English translation, Come Sweet Death. This has literally been crazy recommended as one of the best OSTs you would ever hear. Um, I've heard it's absolutely awesome, so you guys asked me to react to it. I said what we're going to do today. So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to stop talking right now. Make sure you guys subscribe for more reactions like this. Let me know what other OSTs you want me to react to. Let's jump into my first time of reaction to the Evangelion OST, Come Sweet Death. To be honest, already straight away, this is nothing like what I expected. A song called Come Sweet Death, I thought it was gonna be very slow and, and, and dramatic. This feels like kind of chilled. Very not I did not expect it to be like this. <laughs> this is kind of like nice. I didn't, I didn't expect it to be like this at all. This is very different. You know what this intro reminds me of? This intro literally reminds me of when you used to go to church. I don't, well, a lot of you probably still do, but when I was younger, I used to go to church because um, I went to a uh, like a religious school. Um, they're pretty much... 90% of schools in the UK are religious schools. Whether you're religious or not, you go. Um, and you'd walk and you'd do like, you go to church and they'd be like, they'd play the organ and you'd see like the words on the on the screen in front of you or on the sheet and you'd be like, ah, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba. but that, that's what I imagine. <laughs> like that, this is giving me those, those vibes. I know, I know I've let you down. I've been a fool to myself. I thought that I could live for no one else. But now, hurt and pain it's time for me to respect the ones you love me more than anything so with sadness in my heart feel the best thing that i could do is end it all and leave forever what's done she sounds like someone killing themselves which is a very odd thing for like for like a song with this kind of beat is that it's like and i jumped off the building yeah everybody clap your hands like it's it's a bit 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 bizarre um is evangelion old by the way is this old because this feels like very old school it's giving me like i don't know at least 20 plus years ago this is the part where you guys told me it came out last year but it just feels very very old also why is it in german someone let me know and it's done it feels so bad but once was happy now it's sad I'll never love again, my world is ending Beautiful voice by the way I wish that I could turn back time Cause now the guilt is all mine Can't live without the trust from those you love I know we can't forget the past You can't forget love and pride I'm gonna say this right now. This OST is such a sing along OST. You can learn the words to this after like two or three listens and just fucking sing along to this straight away. Like, this is a karaoke OST. I can just imagine it in like a karaoke bar. This is this is a sing along karaoke OST. This is, this is very nice, very nice. Love the vocalist. Loving the old school vibes of this as well. It's like, it's like proper 70s pop. I can literally see like this be this being a cover of a Fleetwood Mac song. It's got the same sort of vibe. It all to I just keep you. 
Song. It's got like such sad lyrics, but it's got such a 70s vibe of a pop beat. Is fucking anime always does this? Lyrics very sad, very depressing. Song fucking energetic and amazing. Like a Hoshi no go Wait, isn't Evangelion the mech anime? Is that the, is, isn't Evangelion the mech anime? I swear it's a mech anime, right? I've heard it's very, very good. A lot of people have asked me to watch it. I've heard it's very good. Um, it seems depressing as shit from this song with these lyrics like this. Damn, man, you guys trying to make me cry again? Stop recommending stuff that makes me cry. We can't forget stuff that me laugh. You can't forget love and pride Because of that it's killing me See what I mean? The lyrics are so depressing. With the song, they're literally clapping. They're literally clapping. <laughs> Come on. really love to listen to this performed live i feel like it would be a fucking i feel like it'd be really cool to listen to this live and watch it be performed live it's got that sort of vibe to it as well especially with like the um the backing singers as well how the fuck is there a song with lyrics like this it all returns to nothing it just keeps tumbling down you know the guilt is on mine and it's killing me inside like lyrics like this ly the song literally opens with like oh, I'm, I'm, i gotta kill myself like lyrics like this lyrics like this and a beat like this, they're literally clapping <laughs> like, what is going on? confused now of Evangelion because if you look at posters of Evangelion it just is like a crazy fucking mech anime with some epic fights listening to this song I would not associate it with that like at all ever that's like that's like associating some Lionel Richie with the fucking Saw movies it like it, it just doesn't it does not work it doesn't make sense In a church, you know, everyone with those big robes on, everyone in the, everyone in the pews, or whatever it's called, just like, yeah! <laughs> I think we can all learn something from this. This is how you got to deliver bad news. This act, cause like this is this lyrics of this song completely fucked up. If you read this out on paper, you'd probably cry. Song completely changes the whole feel of everything you're listening to, everything you're, you're hearing. Um, but imagine delivering bad news like this. Man, man, I'm just saying, like, it, it, like, it, like coming out of like a church orchestra, like, and everybody, everybody, on your feet, on your feet, I accept you, accept you, cause you can't walk anymore, walk anymore. You see what I mean? You feel way better about that. <laughs>
this OST, by the way, I want to point out, this OST was crazy recommended. And I can see why. I have never reacted to an OST like this before, man. Ever. This is so old school, so retro. And in general, an actually really nice song as well. I've never reacted to an OST like this before, ever. Ever. Really long as well, was that 8-8? reason the longer I stare at the giant head in the background the weirder it looks like the longer I look at it the weirder it looks at first I was like ah she looks kind of pretty and now I'm like I don't know she kind of looks weird the chin looks a bit strange the nose and mouth are like I don't know the more I look at it the weirder it looks now I'm looking at it I'm like it looks like a mid transitioned from a human to a wolf like like that's what I'm looking at from Everyone clap everyone on your feet it's time motherfuckers now I'm imagining this as being like a war song it's like, are you all ready for battle? Let me put on the mood. Let me put on the mood music to get you guys in the war for fighting. Get, get you guys in the mood for war and fighting and death. Here we go. Tumbling down, tumbling down. <laughs> Insidious with that violin now. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit creepy. A little bit, a little bit creepy. So, one more time, one more time. All right, let's go. <laughs> so, um, Evangelion. Come sweet death. Um, okay, that was a bit of a ride of a OST. Um, like I said, this was heavily recommended. Also, my face may look a little bit weird right now because I got hay fever. And every now and then I just get hit with these like um, awful nose feelings. If it literally feels like someone's like shot fizzy water to the, right to the back of your nose, it's the only way I can describe it. It's, it's not nice. So every now and then my face will go from normal to like this. And that's why. Um, yeah, this has been crazy recommended and requested. It like um, I've like a lot of people have been saying it's really good. It won the OST vote on Twitch on every single live stream we do on Twitch. And um, at the end of the live streams, you guys get to pick a reaction I record for YouTube, um, and you guys vote for this one. And I can see why. I think for like multiple reasons. First being, it's so different. I haven't reacted to an OST like this ever, ever. This is so so different. And you guys like throwing out those completely different ones as well. Like, I swear Evangelion is the anime that if you Google, you literally see, like, giant mechs, right? I might be getting confused with another anime, but I swear that's the one, right? Um, so this is an OST I just never... My nose, man! Just go away! Hey, FIFA, fuck off! <laughs> Jesus! There would have been a random cut there as I blew my damn nose. But yes, like, this is so random, so different, nothing I've heard. Again, from the anime itself, I just never would have presumed this would have been what the... Well, this would have been an OSD from that anime. Like, ever. So, I think just from that that standpoint alone, brilliant choice to recommend it. The song itself is a really nice song. It's so old school. It gives me, like, 70s vibes. Like, mega, mega old school. Um, very retro, which makes me wonder how old Evangelion is. Because based on this song alone, I would presume it is quite an old anime. Um, is it? I think it's been heavily recommended for me to watch as well. I have heard good things about it. 
I would like to maybe start watching some of the older animes. We're currently doing a watch along of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, so that is one of the older animes, and I feel like those are ones that, as someone who's new to the world of anime, those are ones I definitely need to start watching. So it's, I think it's good you guys are recommending those ones. But yeah, I really like this. Very confused. The lyrics are mega depressing, but the song is mega uplifting. Put them two together and bam, <laughs> I guess you get this. Absolutely crazy. Um, let me know what you guys think about this song. Let me know what other OSTs you would love me to record a reaction to. Hopefully, this is fine for copyright. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, OSTs are a bit hit and miss. Um, if it isn't, I'll have to chop it up and I'll put the full uh, reaction on Patreon. Link in the description. Um, yeah. Anyway, let me know what other OSTs you think I should record a reaction to in the comment section down below. I'm very confused, but for some reason, I feel like I need to go to church. So... I'm going to go to church. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, have an awesome day. Thank you very much for watching. I love all of you. Don't forget to subscribe. If you are not subscribed already, it's totally free. You just press that button and it makes me very happy. Press the subscribe button. And as always, my friends, you can see me in the next video.